Subscribe to Witchtube for latest tech related videos. Pitaka sent out these amazing cases for my iPhone 14 Pro, AirPods Pro 2 and the Galaxy Z Flip 4 which are super slim yet very strong cases made out of genuine aramid fiber giving it a very distinct yet impressive look and later on during this video I'll show you guys my favorite slimmest carbon fiber power bank that is MagSafe compatible, ergonomic and can fast charge multiple devices. Now I have done a video for some amazing Apple Watch Ultra accessories from Pitaka which I still use to this date and they look phenomenal and I have been asked multiple times about these accessories. Full video of it is linked in the pinned comment and at the end of this video. But ever since I got this Mag Easy Case 3 for my iPhone 14 Pro as well as the Mag Easy Case for AirPods Pro 2, I have been getting same question from people who see this case. The most common reaction is, boy these cases are so slim and look splendid. These Meg Easy Case 3 are available for all iPhone 14 models starting from 60 bucks and I have provided direct link to all the products showcased during this video in the video description for current price plus you can get this for previous iPhone models as well. Even the packaging of Pitaka product is impressive, minimalist and environmental friendly. Inside the box you will get the case itself, instruction paper, and this thank you sleeve contains their product catalog. Now as you can see the case is very slim and lightweight. In fact they claim it to be the thinnest and the lightest MagSafe compatible aramid fiber phone case with thinness of only 0.95 mm. Honestly it's paper thin and also super lightweight measuring only 17.3 grams. So putting this case on your iPhone 14 Pro or Pro Max will barely make any difference to the size and weight of your phone which is why I really like these cases. Speaking of putting it on, the overall application process is super easy. I would start by sliding the camera bump side in the case and press the edges until you hear the click and that is it. Removal process is also super easy provided you start it from the side opposite to the camera bump and the case should just pop off pretty easy and nifty. Once the case is on, the woven pattern of the aramid fiber gives this case a very distinct and noticeable look. This case is made out of genuine aramid fiber which are very strong and heat resistant as they are used in aerospace and military applications. So just having this layer of genuine aramid fiber on your iPhone 14 Pro will provide it more protection than any other case. Even the edges are raised to protect the display when the phone is placed screen down on a flat surface. However, one thing I'll point out is that if the phone falls screen down and hits on an edge or something, then the screen of your iPhone will still break or encounter scratches and scuff. But if the phone were to fall with screen facing up, there is no way that your phone will sustain any damages. Hence, I would highly recommend to add a tempered glass screen protector like I have done over here for added safety. The port and the buttons are easily accessible and the camera bump is also protected by the raised lip. So all in all, Mag Easy Case 3 from Pitaka is truly marvelous. With all that said, let's check out the MagSafe compatibility. Any original or aftermarket MagSafe puck will work great with this case as you can see right here. So using this case will not affect the phone's MagSafe charging or accessory compatibility and honestly the magnets are really strong. You can literally shake it as hard as you want and I bet it ain't falling off. This is really helpful for MagSafe car cell phone mount as if you were to use any non-MagSafe cases the phone will not stick to any MagSafe mount versus this Pitaka case has built in array of strong magnets and it will stick to the mount really strong and from my testing so far never has this case fallen off the mount once and I can watch for its integrity. So head down to the video description if you want this case for your iPhone 14 series smartphone. Not just that, like me, if you have AirPods Pro or AirPods Pro 2, then don't worry, Pitaka got you covered with their Mag Easy case for AirPods Pro 2. They even have such case for AirPods 3 and previous AirPods with multiple design options, also for just 69 bucks. I would suggest to check out the links in the video description. Again, the packaging quality is quite minimalist and environmental friendly. The box contains the Mag Easy case with a concise user manual and a product catalog. Like all the other cases, these AirPods Pro 2 case is also made out of genuine aramid fiber giving it a nice texture when you hold the case in your hand and honestly I'm a big fan of this woven fiber design. 
As you can see, the port cutout, including the speaker grille and the lanyard loop cutout, are very precise. The top half of the case houses a reusable adhesive to stick the top half with the AirPods Pro lid. But the bottom half of this case is just a slide-in pressure-fitted case. So once you put the case on, there are two minor inconveniences that I have encountered. Number one, you will not be able to show off the custom engraving with your AirPods Pro 2. And number two, if you have to remove the AirPods Pro 2 out of the case, it's not easy. You have to pull the lid cover hard to unstick the adhesive in order to separate. However, with the bottom half, what I personally do is I plug in a charger in the AirPods Pro 2 and push the AirPods Pro up and out while holding the case and it should just easily slide it out. But as you can see that the cutouts are wide enough to accommodate any sort of charger. Now, if you intend to use this case for previous AirPods Pro, then keep in mind due to the lack of speaker and lanyard holes in the AirPods Pro, this case will fit fine, but the cutouts will be visible with the AirPods Pro under it. So it's not that aesthetically appealing. So in that case, just make sure you select the right AirPods Pro on the purchase page to get the correct fitting one. But the coolest part about this case is its MagSafe compatibility. Since Apple introduced MagSafe compatibility with AirPods Pro 2, adding this Pitaka MagEasy case on the AirPods Pro 2 will preserve the MagSafe compatibility as you can see right here with any MagSafe charger, MagSafe compatible car mounts, and MagSafe compatible power banks. So let me know your thoughts about this case in the comments down below. Now the MagEasy case 3 as shown earlier for iPhone 14 Pro is also available for Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 series with a unique design. By the way, for each smartphone, they have not just one but multiple design and color options and I'll highly insist to check out the links in the video description for that. This case is listed for 80 bucks on their website. Again, links are in the video description and pinned comment. You can also get this type of case for your Fold 4 or any other Samsung smartphone. As usual, again, the packaging quality is top notch with magnetic box design. Now the case for Z Flip smartphone comes in two sections. This is for the top secondary display half and this one is for the bottom half. As you can see, the bottom half houses a MagSafe ring and we'll check out its compatibility later during the video. I like the subtle Pitaka branding with just their logo unlike other companies which are too heavy on their branding. Now most of these cases for the Z Flip smartphone will need such adhesive material to stick onto the body of the phone in order for them to stick in place or else they would just slide out. Now the application process is super easy, just peel off the tape and make sure to align the edges perfectly before snapping the case in place and press onto the tape section in order for the adhesive to stick well. Do the same thing on the other side. Now in order to take the case off, just pull on one side of the edge with the adhesive tape, you may need to pull a bit harder in order to peel off the adhesive. Only time will tell if the adhesive will leave any marks on the body, which I'm assuming it should not, but like all my other videos, I'll stay active in the comment section for long-term review. Now, one of the downside I see with this case is that if the phone falls with the hinge facing down, the impact will scratch and scuff the hinge metal, but anywhere else, your phone will be protected. Same thing also applies for the cover display of the Flip 4 and hence for extra safety I'll recommend a screen protector for the cover display. The camera bump are a bit sunken than the case and hence they should be protected. So overall this case is truly outstanding in terms of looks, design and grip as due to the worn aramid fiber it gives a bit of a texture to your grip making it sure that it won't slide off. The cutout for the port, speaker and buttons are sufficiently wide enough and now let's check out its MagSafe compatibility. Certainly as you can see any MagSafe original or aftermarket charging puck will be able to charge this Z Flip 4 wirelessly. And so is the case compatible with MagSafe car mounts which is very important as I use iPhone and my wife uses this Samsung smartphone and hence putting this case on will make sure that both of our phones will be compatible with any MagSafe car mount. Finally, let's talk about a very unique but remarkably sleek power bank from Pitaka and that is this Fusion Weaving Mag Easy battery bank listed for 70 bucks. Again, there are multiple color options. Be sure to check out the links from the pinned comment. The box is magnetic with pull tabs. 
Inside the box, there is the power bank itself with the product catalog and a concise user manual. Now, the power bank is honestly one of a kind. I have never seen anything like this small. Lightweight, durable, made out of real aramid fiber and very pocketable with a sleek design. It has polished and shiny edges with a rounded ergonomic back design. It's only 0.55 inch thick and only 108.6 gram in weight. You will barely feel this in your pocket and let alone if it's left stuck on the back of your iPhone, you won't even notice it due to its ergonomic design. Now in terms of specs, it's only 4000 mAh but you also gotta keep in mind that it's small and pocketable form factor. Plus it has a type C in and out port and the wireless charging output is 5W. It's not super fast but I have noticed that it does not get hot with faster wireless charging so it's very safe. Now the magnets of this power bank are not fixed that means you can stick this bank to a non-MagSafe Qi enabled charging phone with MagSafe case in any orientation and it will still stick and charge wirelessly. Now there is a hidden button at the back which you can feel as an indentation. The Pitaka logo is at the center of the magnetic ring. Now pressing the button once will turn on the power bank which is helpful yet annoying, helpful because you can keep the bank stuck to the back of your phone and it will not drain until you press the button to turn it on. And I say annoying because you have to unstuck the power bank to press the button in order for it to turn on to charge your phone. Now turning it on will show these four white LED lights which will show off the battery level in four quarters. Now if the power bank is not charging any device then it will auto power off in 40 seconds which is really cool and helpful. Now in case if you want to turn off the power bank then just press the button twice and it will shut down. Also when the battery level is lower than 10% the power bank will vibrate twice when you turn it on to remind that the power bank is running low on juice. Now let's do a charging test and as you can see it does charge my iPhone 14 Pro wirelessly and the cool part is that it looks great with this Meg Easy case for my iPhone 14 Pro and it's also very ergonomic to hold the phone with the power bank slapped on it due to the curved back. Now this power bank can wirelessly charge my Galaxy Z Flip 4 but keep in mind that any Qi wireless capable charging device needs to have a MagSafe case like this one on it in order for this power bank to stick onto it and as said earlier you can place this bank in any orientation and it'll still charge my Galaxy Z Flip 4. So overall this Pitaka power bank is very versatile and unique. Since I have started using Pitaka accessories, I have been asked multiple times about them. So let me know what are your thoughts on these accessories and subscribe as it's free plus I do have 500 plus tech videos on this channel and check these videos out as you will find them helpful.